Yirashimase! Hello and welcome to Fataris' Kitchen. I'm your host, Chef Fataris. It's time once again for Shoot 'em Up Saturday, and on the menu this Saturday, we have Gyra Boss DX, the self proclaimed Orbital Avoid 'em Up. What kind of taste will it have? Let's get cooking and find out. From developer Checkered Inc., Gyra Boss DX is a reworking or an updated version of a mobile title, Gyra Boss. Released on PCs in March of 2019 and on the Switch in May of 2019, the game itself is relatively simple, but it's still a lot of fun. So there are a couple modes we can play it in. There's the Classic Mode, and there's the Party Mode. I'm planning on showing both, but we'll start, of course, with Classic Mode. So as you start the mode, you see the objectives, and there are a total of 50 objectives you can complete. They continue to go and just move up as you play through the game itself, although some of them are a little more random than others. Starting the game, we've got our main enemy, Gyroboss, in the center of the screen. Uh, Gyroboss is so technologically advanced that we can't hope to do anything against him. The best we can hope to do is just survive against him for a certain amount of time. And the way we do that is we move around the circle around him with a couple different types of control schemes we have available to us. So the main one is the, your, just your standard control scheme where if you press left you go counterclockwise, you press right you go clockwise. Uh, there's an inverted version of that as well and then there's the direct control uh, scheme which will uh, you basically hold a direction on the stick and the ship will move to that direction. So if you want it to go all the way to the left, say to this position, you would go and hold it straight to the left. You could do the same for the right, up, down. But well, that one takes a little bit of getting used to. I feel the standard controls are a little more intuitive. So basically what we're trying to do here is just avoid Gyro Boss's attacks and survive as long as we can. The longer we survive, the higher our score. As you can see, the score is counting up the longer we're alive. And there's also a timer as well. If we survive long enough, we get to the point where we see one of his rage attacks. And it usually starts around a minute and ten. So this one is the Rage Asteroid, where the asteroid's coming in from one side of the screen. And you need to avoid them in order to survive. Oh! <laughs> I got caught at the very end. And that's the basics of classic mode. So let's jump over to party mode. For the Switch, you'll be asked to confirm your controllers before you dive into the mode itself, and then all the players that are playing get to check in. Uh, it's also possible to change your control scheme, so now everybody is uh, forced to play with uh, the default control scheme or the one that's set up, which is really nice. So once you're in party mode, there are these different, basically, mini-game-like modes that are selected. The first one that we're, uh, we have is uh, survival mode, which is basically classic mode, but with multiple players. The longer you're alive, the more points you get, and whoever has the most points at the end well, once everybody has died, say for the last person standing, or even if the last person goes and dies, whoever has the most points will win that round and get a point for the round. The first player to five wins will win the party mode. And so it's a pretty fun mode, and it, like, uh, it actually works really well. So this particular mode is Wacky Weapons. It basically takes weapons that... Uh, the gyro boss uses and kind of remixes them and also is kind of crazy. That tentacle killed us both, but player two was able to last just a second longer and got that win. And there we have it. That's basically Gyro Boss DX served up. So as far as the minus flavors are concerned, that's right, no breaks, no breaks. <laughs> so as far as the minus flavors are concerned, I I kind of wish it was possible to play some of these modes in the party mode just as a single player or be able to select them as a multiplayer with just that one mode by themselves. Um, but unfortunately there isn't anything like that. Also, we have 50 possible objectives to complete. It would be really nice if there were unlocks associated with that. Uh, new weapons, new sound sets, or may not necessarily be weapons, but since we're not actually shooting at the gyro boss. Uh, but new like sound sets, new like uh, 
graphic themes, that sort of thing, could be a lot of fun. Um, but unfortunately, we don't have anything quite like that in uh, Gyro Boss DX. So it's one of those things that would be nice to see, just having some unlocks that you get for achieving those objectives. As far as the plus flavors are concerned, though, I really think that the simple, addictive fun of the game is uh, really its strongest selling point. Each like time you finish a round, it's like, ah, just one more round, or I want to go and try that a little bit more, or if you're playing multiplayer, it's like, come on, we'll just go and do just another round of the party mode. This is a, a lot of fun. So there are all these like fun, different ways to go and play the game. Like this one, the objective is trying to go and see who can travel the most before the timer runs out, 30 seconds. It's just a lot of fun, and I do also appreciate that it does support up to four players. It's a lot of fun. Faulty brakes, no! Once you start moving, you can't stop. So really, I think this one is an enjoyable title and well, one that's well worth checking out. Alright, so that should just about wrap it up for this week's episode of Shoot'em Up Saturday. As always, I want to thank you so much for coming out and joining me this week, and I look forward to seeing you again next week. <laughs>